I'm going to check to make sure that the volume is working. I'm not supposed to be doing any videos right now. I'm supposed to be working on the Eon channel, the actual Eon.tv channel. And what's happening is that there's been a lot of interference, ladies and gentlemen. Now, people, many of you don't understand, and I don't expect many of you to get it. And that's, that's just me saying I apologize. But there is an algorithm put in place by Google. If you don't believe me, just type in Google. Google staff protest selling algorithm to Israel. That's all you got to do. And you'll see that Google is fully aware of its stupid algorithm and its employees are fully aware of the algorithm and what the algorithm is capable of. That's why Israel wants it because it's going to use that algorithm to attack the Palestinians. Then Google is going to use whatever research and whatever information they can derive from what Israel is doing and so on and so forth. There is a lot of junk to talk about. I am not going to talk about ding dong, the witch is dead. We're not going to have that conversation. Yeah, I said it. The rest of y'all want to say the same thing. Look, she was part of the group that did what they did to Haiti and to the wonderful people over in Jamaica, which is why they're so backwards. That's right, Jamaicans, I said that. I've been to your country. I've seen how you guys are, and it's a shame. Blame it on Britain, because I do. That sounds controversial. Yeah, that's so I can get more views. Please. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter whether she's dead or not. All they are concerned about is their legacy because they don't have a hope for anything else. That's why the whole procession, everything was already planned. It was planned years ago. That's how these individuals do. That's how these presidents do. That's why they all have libraries. A li presidential library? Oh, that's all I look forward to is having a, my name on a building. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't need my name on the building. If I want my name on the building, I'll put it on my own building. Sorry, uh, Penny is barking at someone, and I'm coming out here to see who she's barking at, and there is nobody out here for her to bark at. Give me one second. Penny? Penny? Where's Penny at? You better cut that noise out. Sorry. Uh, the way her house is, she's been digging holes again. And I'm not going to stop her from digging this one. This one, she can't do any damage to anything. And she's on the other side. And I was trying to figure out what she was barking at. She wasn't barking at anyone. She was barking at the puppies because they, the mother and father, they literally wrestle with their own puppies. So it's, uh, you know what? They are starting to look, well, they're eating like pigs, but they're starting to have a unique look to them. They're only going to be here about another week and a half to two weeks, and then I will have to arrange for the uh, Humane Society to come and pick them up. The, the two white ones, they're gone. I just have to make arrangements with the person who wants them um, to pick them up. So uh, that that's being worked out as we speak. All right, back to the hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to bring some information to your attention, information that I have been trying to bring to your attention, but I haven't done it in quite this fashion. It's called Petition of Right or Right to Petition. Now, you want to focus on that phrase, Petition of Right, because you have the right to petition government. Hold on. You don't have the right to file documents. You have the right to petition. The right to petition is absolute. The Supreme Court can't even make a doctrine for it. Uh-oh, look at that. Examination of the Supreme Court doctrine. The Supreme Court doctrine is not talking about anything other. When they talked about you restricted, then individuals going after referendums, uh, you know, initiatives of Congress. But if you're bringing a petition because you were done wrong, then you can bring it directly to the, pay attention, this is the unique part, constitutional government because it's a constitutional right, not a statutory right. 
Did you did you hear that? The constitutional right. Your right to petition is a constitutional right. So when you petition, you petition constitutional government. Wait, 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 you're gonna love this. There are no filing fees for petition that's done as a matter of a constitutional right. <sighs> so your petition for redress to the Supreme Court, people are doing what's known as remonstrances. Have you ever heard of a remonstrance, a petition for remonstrance? Well, a petition for remonstrance and a petition for redress are the same thing. It's just, and they're cut from the same cloth. Oh, I had a cloth that I cut something from. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, petition of right. Let's click on this. I actually didn't know I had it open. Uh-oh, I got a call coming in, y'all. I'm going to answer these folks. So y'all excuse me for just a moment, okay? That was nobody. Oh, nobody called you? I get a call from nobody all the time. Man, nobody has been so busy lately. Yeah, because... Uh-oh. <laughs> I got to... I got to let him know this. Give me one second. Mr. C, I am doing a video. Can I give you a call back when I finish? Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. See how simple that is? Everybody wants to call. Write a petition. So I didn't make a mistake when I said write a petition. Not write a petition. Write of petition. And ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. The right of petition passed on 7 June 1628. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the common law. It was derived from the Magna Carta. It was derived from the Bill of Rights of 1689. The right of petition. You have that right because that's the same petition right that's embedded in the First Amendment. As a matter of fact, the entire Constitution of America is founded on your right to petition. That's yours. Nobody else got it but you. Okay? Your right of petition. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not a statutory right. So there are no filing fees. It's a constitutional right. So you want to do a right of petition, petition to the judicial branch of government or to the executive branch of government or to the legislative branch of government. You can do it on the state level and on the federal level. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you a list. I want y'all to hold on a second. I'm going to do y'all a favor. Uh, how do I write? I said I'm going to do you a favor. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all know that we can't do this without us having music in my background. Casey and JoJo. They're going to be turned down a little bit, but they're going to be in my background because I haven't had music in my house, quite honestly in weeks because I've been bombarded. I've been having to respond to everything and take care of everything. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2012, I did a couple of seminars and I did one, a small one in Illinois. And there were a couple of young ladies there and they were talking about a young man named Chris, recently. I didn't know about Chris back then. And I think that Havoc, I think his last name was, but I believe I knew Chris, but I'm not sure. I believe that Chris attended at least one seminar, but I am not sure. But I do know that as a result of this person talking about petitioning the right of redress, people did some research. And they found out about the right of remonstrance. And so they started doing this campaign on petitions for remonstrance. Mr. Chris being the main one to spearhead that. A petition for remonstrance is nothing more than a petition for redress. Here's the point. Petitions for remonstrance were, you'll find them mostly on the East Coast included in their constitution. On the West Coast, the word remonstrance doesn't appear in their constitutions. For the most part, okay? However, it is just a petition for redress. Redress is a petition for reparations. Those of you who were slaves, 
part of slavery? No, we're going to get to that in a minute. We're going to be talking about slaves and reparations quite a bit on this channel. You'll see in a moment, but we're not going to talk about that now. Ladies and gentlemen, these young ladies, I was helping them with their mortgage, but I went on vacation in Puerto Rico. And then I went on vacation for real um, in 2016, 2017, 2018, and all of that wonderful stuff. So I couldn't finish with them. Okay? You know, I hear people saying, well, I'm a part of the defrauded homeowners of America, unless you can provide me information where I was working on your mortgage in 2012 and I made you a part of that group and I had to have been working on your mortgage. There was about 16 people. Many of them I know by name and I still keep in touch with to this day. Okay, we'll be working on your credits next. So I'll be putting out a video for you. To make this video no longer than what it is, let's go ahead and tell you what Lori, Valerie sent to me. Now, Lori and Valerie, I, I'm going to read to you guys what they've done. There shouldn't be any personal information in here because they know better, <laughs> all right? But for Lori and Valerie, they were working along with Chris, and they're continuing what Chris did after his demise, which made it was senseless, okay? It says, attached here is a petition for remonstrance, okay, that Valerie and I co-authored together concerning ending financial crimes against humanity. Ladies and gentlemen, I need at least 26 of you from 26 different states, and I'll give you the name. I just need you to file this document. I'm going to give you the website to get the document and file this document in your state, but follow their instructions because they're trying to accomplish something. Now, I'm not, I'm not doing no petitions. I said they're trying to accomplish something, and I want you all to help them. Okay? I just need, okay, 26 states. That's all they need. So pay attention. We got this prepared and sent out to the first 15 states December 2019 before the whole COVID pandemic. Ah, it's a plan. It's a demic. Oh, no. Democrat. Plan Democrat. I'm kidding. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, played out. We are now working to get this in the remaining 35 states, of which we've added nine more states to our first 15 states. So we have 26 states left. Do you guys want to help them? It's a petition for remonstrance, a petition for redress. You don't need to pay any fees following this petition in the court. If you have people in any of these remaining states, we need just one petitioner in each of the remaining 26 states. Now, I'm going to give you their information in a second, and you will constant const tax to them, okay? Be nice. Be reasonable because my people are reasonably nice. Look, the scriptures say, as long as it depends upon you, be peaceable with all men and women. So my peace, 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 peoples are reasonable. Pay attention. Our national committee is supported uh, in support of Resolution 16 or 6021. Go ahead and read 6021 resolution 6021 of florida okay with the hlr homeowners legal rights association out of florida are covering the printing and mailing costs for these 20 additional 26 states so all any one of the respective petitioners would have to do is to print out two cover letters okay fill out the attached cover sheet sign and date scan email to them the cover letters and then mail one copy of the two cover letters back to them and retain two copies for their records and it says and they will look up the respective agents for their state and print off and mail it now here are the 26 states that they need help with new hampshire vermont delaware new jersey west virginia Ohio, Ow. Ow. sorry, Lana Ritchie, I got to make sure I said the last one, West, Ohio, Wisconsin, Indiana, Kentucky, Alabama, Louisiana, Missouri, <laughs> Iowa, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, 
Kansas, Oklahoma, Montana. It ain't no Montana. It's Montana. Montana, Wyoming, New Mexico. Mexico? Yeah, we be mixing up some stuff. Utah, Arizona, Rahodi Island. Rahodi? Rahodi? Man, me and my me and my homies, we go way back. We like roadies, you know. Rhode Island, Connecticut, and Manassasachusetts. Massachusetts. All right. Now she says, Valerie and I have spent the last five years working on our national committee that I am co-chairwoman with Billy Powers. Y'all remember Billy Powers and the lawsuit Billy Powers had where they came and took her home for her from her. I couldn't help Billy at the time because I had too many other things going on. But Billy hasn't let it go. Billy is still fighting her case. She's before SCOTUS and they are trying to stop her. She filed a petition for remonstrance. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you a suggestion. If you're going to do a petition for remonstrance, you have to petition the court for a stay pending the outcome. Doesn't matter. You're not following a statute. Remember, this is a petition for redress. Petition for remonstrance, petition for redress, equating to the same thing. You can do a petition for redress in the form of a remonstrance. That's what I would call it. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't play cruising. And the reason why I can't play cruising is because what the song denotes, if you listen to the words of cruising, uh uh, that, that, that's, that's wrong. I can't play Brick House either because 26, 24, 36, man, I'm sorry. We're going to do Never Too Much, okay? We can deal with Never Too Much. It's going to be a lot of other songs associated with that. I don't care how much you want to dive into the research, but here is some of our websites. Research that we keep public. So people... So the people that have come across uh, to all we are doing to end these financial crimes against humanity and seek remedy and recompense as our POR, uh, proof of record, are called public order um, and investigations into the initial 66 petitioners of the first 15 states we have into filed into. Ladies and gentlemen, I also want to encourage you all to stop filing documents. Start recording documents or petitioning. But filing, uh, filing is a word they created. There is no right to file, but there is a right to petition. Shh, don't tell nobody. A list of 108 agents representatives of those 15 states that got our PORs uh, petition of remonstrance is what POR stands for. Okay, now. We are tracking the POSs, proof of services, for these 35 states, and we are adding the first 15. So go here, resolution6021.com. You can learn more about Bruce Jacobs, who was the author of the, what the commissioner and mayor out of Miami for resolution 6021, which would bring sanctions against these bankers. Now, you guys know... And I know that we are all, the first thing we'll all say is, that ain't going to work. What I'm saying is, you have the right to petition. I'm sorry, you must understand, as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, I cannot join in group protests. Sorry, it is a principle. And I cannot be party to it. Am I promoting it? No, I'm not promoting it. I understand what a remonstrance is and what an individual's right to petition. And that each one of these filings is an individual petition. But because they're being filed in every state, it will help promote the fact that people have the right to petition for redress. As I told you, when Mr. Richard, um, now I can't, I'm trying to think of Richard's last name, Dag Navit, and it, uh, this is the first time I've not been able to, Richard Fuller, sorry, Richard Fuller. Richard Fuller, the rocket scientist, who was the one who brought the right to petition for redress to my attention, he says, I have something I want to show you. Then he says, I know that once I show it to you, you 
will be able to do something with it. He says, in fact, out of all the people I've talked to, I know that you will do something with this. I don't know how Richard knew that because he didn't even know me. He had only heard me talking to other people about law. He did not know me from Tom, Dick, or Mary. Richard Fuller is who you would refer to these days as a guru because he had that old knowledge. Okay? I didn't know Richard Fuller for too long, but he did put me through a whole lot. God, he that man was relentless. Uh, but... He helped me understand about the right to petition for redress. That research was worthwhile, ladies and gentlemen. And thus I can tell you now that what Billy and the rest of the individuals who are trying to get redress, I am saying that you all will be able to get redressed as well. Okay? Go to thisleague.com. And abolish the bankers.com. That'll never happen. <laughs> See, and that's the problem. See, that's a naysayer. When you, that'll never happen. When you say things like that, why doubt it? Because I just watched a video yesterday where a guy was explaining about Russia and China and what Russia and China are trying to do to devalue the American dollar. See, Russia and China are partners, so they're trading with each other. So China is trading with Russia, but they're not using American dollars. Hold on. Wait a minute. Doesn't that sound familiar? Isn't that what Gaddafi was trying to do? Isn't that what Iraq was trying to do? And look what they did to Gaddafi in Iraq. Well, they can't do it to Russia and China. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead and play the same game you did with Gaddafi and Saddam Hussein with Putin and Xi. Go ahead. I dare you. Oh, my God. Okay. It's the exact same thing. So the bankers... They are trying to backpedal. So, ladies and gentlemen, you guys don't understand. What I just said, something's about to happen. Okay? Okay. Says you can find their videos at Whistleblower Pie. Hold on. Let me... Oh, I think my... Uh, the company... Oh, no. She's barking at pieces of paper, y'all. I apologize. I have a company that's going to be uh, delivering my water, and I thought she was barking at the driver, but she's barking at pieces of paper flying on the ground. Like I said, you notice they don't bark, but she is, and you don't hear the other ones barking, but she will, and Max will too. Penny, no. And she's going to bark again when I tell her no, because that's the routine. I guarantee you, until I go out there and move whatever it is that's blowing, she's going to keep barking. So give me a second. Let me go pick that up so that I can uh, uh, stop her from barking before I kill her. I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm, I, I will. One second. To touch her, I just had to explain to her. No, I just had to pick it up and ball it up and throw it away. So she is quiet and so are the rest of them. But as, I, as you can see, just because she barked doesn't mean that the rest of them have to bark. Look, there are nine dogs on this property. And while I'm doing this video, you only heard one of them bark. And that was because she's doing what I trained her to do. She's supposed to let me know when something or someone is on this property that don't belong. And if that means a blowing bush then fine, okay, because they don't know that a bush or a person, you could be hiding in a bush, you know, so I want them to be aware of anything that moves that's suspicious, they're supposed to let me know, okay, if it's a rodent or something, they're not going to bark at a little rodent, I got rid of my rodent problem, the uh, poison way, Look, ladies and gentlemen, this is my petition that I am getting ready to put in, okay? Petition of right in the form of a petition for redress, remonstrance, presentation, okay? That's me. That's how I'm doing. Now, these are two different, see, uh-oh, I'm sorry, what didn't mean, to, hello? This is surface, ladies and gentlemen. Now, how do I know that?
how do I know this is surface? Because I didn't listen to a lot of surface, but everybody know surface, okay? You're all I need in my life. I don't need no one. I don't need no one but you. I'm sorry. Hey, it's what the song does to me. It's a surface, y'all. Now, you notice I'm just getting started, okay? I'm just getting started. So the first thing I'm going to do with this document is I want to let you know about a petition for redress, a remonstrance, what it does, and why it's beneficial that y'all pay attention to this. Petition of right, English law. When the crown is in possession or title is vested in it, which is claimed by a subject, ah, that's my property. You don't own my property. Give me back my estate. Sorry. and no suit can be brought against the king. You're immune. What you mean I can't sue you? The subject, I'm a subject, <laughs> is allowed to file in the court a petition of right to the king. That's right. You have the right to file a petition if you're being blocked in the court. And your right is a petition of right, and people are doing it in the form of a remonstrance. This is in the nature of an action against the subject and the action of against the nature of a agency of the king. It says, in which the petitioner sets out his right to that which is demanded by him and praise the king, praise that the king do to him right and justice petition of redress. And upon a due and lawful trial of right, to make him restitution, to make him whole. It's a request for reparations. Ah, it is called a petition of right because the king is bound or the government is bound of right to answer it, which is why, pay attention, the arbitration agreements work so well. Shh, don't tell nobody. And I'm joking, not. I'm telling you the honest truth, the reason why we had you send the arbitration agreements to government is because government, when you file a petition, must respond. And if you look at them, each one of them says that they're a petition for redress. There is a method to the madness. If you don't believe me, go back and read. The document was done initially by Demetrius Hawkins, Bradley Christopher Sark, and that's the same time I put them, that's the first time I put Demetrius Hawkins' name first, but Bradley Christopher Sark and Michael Rideout. They put that together, but I went through it and I added what I knew to it and got rid of some of the things that were catch-22s or contradictory. But I left it for you all to correct spelling errors. Why? Because the first thing the court would say is that we were acting in conspiracy. Okay? So I will tell you the documents that you're going to be doing with these young ladies. Um, I'm going to put the documents up online. It's going to be called Remonstrance Petition, and everything will be in there. Okay? And so what I'm going to beg and ask is that you guys follow their procedure for their document, not yours, because it's not your process. Do you understand? Okay, let's finish with this Remonstrance thing or Petition of Right. It says, it is called a petition of right because the king is bound of right to answer it and let the matter therein contained be determined in a legal way. In like manner as causes between subject and subject, the petition is presented to the king, to the government, who subscribes it, receives it with those words. So to dos Al pate. And thereupon, it is delivered to the chancellor to be executed according to the law. It amounts to the king issuing a mandate, an order, a writ. And he does it, in most cases these days, to the attorney general to carry out the mandates of the king. Common law right to petition is not a privilege, but a right secured. Uh, oh, 
it's supposed to be not high, but I in the free exercise of my right. I, I'll be changing the eyes and making it. No, this is a first person document. So it is a first person document. So I in the free exercise thereof do hereby petition the judicial branch of government for remonstrance in the form of a petition for redress. Give me a second. Like this is my phone, ladies and gentlemen. One a second. Therapy for the joint problems I'm having as a result of muscular dystrophy and that fall I had from that hammock. And yes, most of the recovery is done. The arm, we still have some residual issues with tendonitis, the tennis elbow issue, and the joints. And then the chiropractor, there is a clicker that my chiropractor uses, and I promise you, I've been seeing a chiropractor for over 30 years. And this is the first time a chiropractor can work on my back and I'm not in pain every day. And even if I'm in pain, by the next morning, it's gone. That I never experienced before, but whatever he's doing, it's working. Okay, but this joint pain, I did, somebody told me about Moringa. And I have a 500 milligram capsule that I was taking. I'm not going to overdo it. But they say this is supposed to help with joints. Ladies and gentlemen. I really, if it has been helping, I'm not paying attention enough to notice it. Just that simple. That's me drinking some alcohol and taking some medication at the same time. Because that's the way we do things around here. Uh, morons, first, I don't drink alcohol, except for once a year. And it's only at least an ounce when I do drink it at that time. And... I don't take medication. I literally don't. Medication is chemicals. I choose not to take medication. Am I giving somebody else advice not to take medication? No, you have to do what's good for you, what's best for you. I don't take medication. I take medicine. Now, are there times when I will take medication? Yes, when there's no medicine available and it's necessary. But right now, it's not necessary that I take medication. Ladies and gentlemen, I got this is the last thing I want to show you. Have you guys heard about the very first Civil Rights Act? Well, our society wants to rely on that second Civil Rights Act. They shouldn't have been relying on that from the very beginning because it wasn't necessary. There was already a Civil Rights Act in place. Martin Luther King and all the rest of those, sorry, I was going to say idiots, didn't know. All they had to do was enforce this one. This Civil Rights Act has not been overturned. In fact, this is the Civil Rights Act in which lawsuits, 1982, 1985, 1983, 1988. 1983, 1988, 1985, 1982 lawsuits are derived from the Civil Rights Act of 1866. It is not a long act. If you are a person of color, you do not have to be a person of color so dark in skin that, you know, you can't see yourself at night. They ain't talking about that type of color. I'm not talking about that type of color. I'm talking about a person of any color. You can even be Asian because they had them as slaves too. You don't believe me? Ladies and gentlemen, you can be Caucasian and be a person of color. What? Caucasians don't... Oh, so you're telling me that their skin doesn't have color to it? Go ahead. Well, white means devoid of color, but they're not white. Not a single one of them are the color of the backdrop of this screen here. They are not white. There's no such thing as a white person. No, statutes define what a white person is. But you don't have to limit yourself to their definition. I've been saying that for years. I, I am not what they define me as. I am me. I define who I am. So I would say... Equal rights, because if this can be used by a person of color, it can be used by a person who they claim has no color. Okay? Equal rights. That's what this is about. Pay attention. I want y'all, I need y'all to pay attention and act to protect all persons in the United States in their civil rights and to furnish a means of their vindication. Hold on now. Petition for redress. Shh. Don't tell nobody. Now, all persons in the United States, everybody said this is the 14th. This is not the 14th Amendment. The 14th Amendment came from this act. This is the Statutes at Large Act. This doesn't look like a statute at large. Hold on, let me. Uh oh, ladies and gentlemen, hold on. 
Hold on. Shaka! Y'all know this. Come on, y'all. Y'all know about nobody. Ain't nobody. Okay? Shaka Ka! Something is happening to her. Something is It was happened so naturally. I did not know it was love. Wait, ladies and gentlemen. That's Shaka Ka. That's ain't nobody. Sorry. I apologize. I let myself go. Now we're flying through the sky. Hope this night will last forever. Oh. I like the song, as y'all can tell. When it came out, it was just... Those of you all who understand where I'm coming from when I speak about some of these songs, y'all realize the same thing I realized. This song came out this day. It would not have the impact it had when it did come out. Do y'all remember when this song came out? Do y'all remember what you were doing when you heard it for the first time or that third time or that fifth time? Do you remember how you turned that radio up and you did exactly what I'm doing? Nobody loves me better. Mm, makes me feel this way. It was Shaka. Mm, it was just the way the song was done. It fit the time period. It fit the air. If you guys don't understand, then you don't need to be on this channel because I'm a music connoisseur. And I will give the artist their credit because they deserve it. Give me one second. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, my, um, there was a vehicle that drove by and I got up because I'm looking at the camera and the camera's showing the vehicle driving by, but it's on that five second delay thing. And so I'm waiting for the vehicle to go by and I go look at the door and there ain't no vehicle going by. And I'm like, what the, maybe he pulled behind and all that, but he went straight on by. It's just the camera's, we're in the five second delay, so I couldn't see him go through the camera. When I looked up, he had already gone by, but the camera was showing him as just now going by, so yay, yay, yay. Got a lot to talk to you guys about. Let's talk about this act, okay? Now, mind you, an act to protect all persons in the United States of their civil right and to furnish a means of their vindication. Being enacted by the Senate and House Representative of the United States of America and Congress assembled that all persons born in the United States are not and not subject to a foreign power, excluding Indians, not tax, are hereby declared to be citizens of the United States, not 14th Amendment citizens. Shh. That's right. They were citizens before the 14th Amendment. So citizen doesn't mean 14th Amendment citizen. You got to remember that. Hold on now. This is not where the 14th Amendment comes from, ladies and gentlemen. They didn't create a new set of rights for people. Well, they gave you civil rights. Well, they actually didn't give you civil rights. Pay attention. They didn't give you civil rights. They were protecting your rights civilly. See, people don't understand. Civil government comes from a republic form of government. Civil rights comes from the Roman civil law, where they had a senate. Okay, hold on. And such citizens of every race and color, every color, including those who claim to be of no color. Sorry, let me, uh, I'm using Bitdefender. And it's proven all right. Okay, come on now. I'm doing too much, so let me, there we go. Got to get rid of that. And give it a moment, ladies and gentlemen, for me to continue without regard to any previous condition of slavery or involuntary servitude so as you can see slavery and involuntary servitude are not the same because a person can be subject to involuntary servitude and not be a slave say what i know impossible huh indentured servants except as a punishment for a crime wherever the party shall have been duly convicted, shall have the same right in every state 
and territory of the United States. So let me correct you all. When the Supreme Court and the United States Federal District Court say that the 14th Amendment made the states bound by the United States Constitution, that was a lie. This act was already in place. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason we're not going to go through the whole act. I just want to show you that this act is still enforceable. And if you got a complaint, do your petition for remonstrance. Go to that website. Help these young ladies out with their petition for remonstrance. Let's get remonstrance to be recognized the way it's supposed to be recognized. You got a party because we're about to start doing this for people in their homes. Ladies and gentlemen, somebody, if they took your home and they didn't have a right and you follow the videos and you can prove that your original note was the collateral security as spelled out in the March 9, 1933 Act that's codified at Title 12, Section 412, then go into court and tell them you want redress, you want reparations, you want corrections, and you want them to report the violation of this crime because it's illegal in the United States for anyone other than government to take someone's property. See, government can take your property, it's called eminent domain, but they must compensate you. The banks, when operating in commerce, are not government. Again, we're getting ready to start helping people. I need y'all to be patient. There's a lot going on, but we will do the best we can. So we're gonna tell you, your right of petition in the form of remonstrance is the way to go been saying this since 2000 and well actually since 1999 when I first started talking about the right to petition the right to petition is nothing every criminal complaint is a right to redress you remember those criminal complaints against judges well now you bring that criminal complaint that we prepared for you you bring that before the judicial branch of government wherever the Supreme Court is said to be located you petition them in their official capacity they don't listen then you file your petition for remonstrance to the supreme court of the united states having the supreme court of the united states order them to stop blocking your access to the court the supreme court of the united states will have no choice ladies and gentlemen again petition for remonstrance there are no filing fees just need y'all to pay attention so it's free for you to complain but those of you who are going to bring up all that junk you don't need to be following nothing. You need to understand, you don't need to bring up all that junk. Bring, bring up the facts. Hold them accountable to violations of actual law, the Constitution. Don't come up with stuff. Don't be bringing up all, and my grandmama's grandmama, y'all owe me for them too. You, you ain't got to bring up all that junk. Stick to you. You got to trust. You have some facts to support the facts you got to trust. Then bring that up. Let them know that you are the... Now, uh, there's a young man, he was using the word absolute trustee. Well, it's a misnomer because it's not the absolute trustee per se. There is no such term. However, it is trustee with absolute power, i.e. absolute trustee. So you can say absolute trustee, but understand where the term comes from. And once you understand that the term comes in that fashion, you can then attack. Ladies and gentlemen, let me make sure you understand something. This is the last thing I'm going to say before I get off of this. I'm going to be under 45 minutes, but I definitely have to uh, mention this to you guys. See, the time has stopped. I don't know why the time stopped. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, some people are trying to contact people whom I communicate with to get in touch with me. You all don't understand. As I told you, you cannot contact SACOM. You cannot contact the Merrill Legion. You cannot contact SAA. You cannot contact the Eon Foundation. You cannot contact any of the corporations that I put together to get in touch with me. It doesn't work like that. Don't do it. Don't even think about it. You cannot contact me on my private number to talk about any of those organizations. It is a policy put in place from the foundation. Please don't violate the policy because you'll be blocked. I'm not joking. Okay, enough of it. I'm tired of saying it to people. You should know better. You should know better. Now, look, 
hey, I got a lot to do. I'm still working on the channel, still working on the new software, still working on how we're going to present the information to you. I'm still working with Amera Legion so that we can finish you guys' paperwork. Amera Legion is doing the 10 out of 9s for people. Oh, we're going to definitely explain that to you guys, how that process works. But just pay attention. You're getting a whole lot more than you paid for. We're letting you know that hands down. Hey, got to go. I want to thank you all for joining me today. I hope this information proves beneficial, helpful, and that you can put it to some good use. Hey, y'all done have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Hey, I got to go. As I told y'all, Eon ain't doing no more videos, but Redress, he can put up with the stupidity. So he'll do videos, and we'll even put his videos on the Eon channel to make sure everybody gets to see it, all right? But I got to go listen to my Evelyn Champagne King. She's talking about making somebody's love come down. Y'all know about Evelyn? Evelyn, tell them. There you go. Oh, you make my love come down. Can't, look at her. No sleep last night. Mm -mm -mm. All right, y'all take care, all right? Got to go.